students today we will deal with lesson 2 of the text b high titled the sound of music this lesson has got two parts and in this session we will discuss the first part it is a biographical piece written by deborah coley about evelyn glenny a scottish percussionist who achieved success and recognition through determination hard work and courage fighting against a physical disability Evelyn became deaf by the age of 12 but music was her passion. She was awarded the Polar Music Prize in 2015. She has received 15 honorary doctorates from various universities. She is an ambassador of the Royal National Children's Foundation and her life story is entitled Good Vibrations My Autobiography and she leads motivational classes and has performed in more than 40 countries now we move on to the lesson evelyn glenny listens to sound without hearing it rush our crowds jostle for position on the underground train position platform a slight girl looking younger than her 17 years was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train it was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a Scottish farm. But this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most. She was profoundly deaf. We come back to the first line. Rush our crowd jostle for position on the underground train platform. So the scenario is a railway station and rush our, that means the peak hour, crowds jostle for position jostle means push roughly on the underground train platform so they push against each other people to get into the train amidst them you can find or you you can see a slight girl slight means small and thin looking younger than her 17 years what do you mean by that she was 17 year old but looked younger than that was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train a train was approaching and she felt the vibrations of that and that made her nervous and excited now what is the reason for that it was her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london so that was the reason for her nervousness and excitement it was her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london prestigious means having high status so that made her both nervous and excited and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a scottish farm any teenager who came from a scottish who came from scottish farm this would have been a frightening situation her first day at, a, at the royal academy of music in london but this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most she was profoundly deaf aspiring musician means a person who wants to be a musician who look forward to uh, becoming a musician so she wanted to become a musician but she faced a bigger challenge than most teenagers of her age what was that she was profoundly deaf profoundly means extremely deaf so you can imagine the connection or what is what is the situation there a girl who aspires to be a musician but she is profoundly deaf so how will she uh, achieve that how um, did she succeed in her attempt did she become a, a, a musician the rest of the lesson tells us about that now from the first paragraph itself we come to know few details about evelyn glenny she is a slight girl a thin girl 17 year old She, uh, she was going to attend her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london she came from the scottish farm and she was an aspiring musician but the most important fact of all was that she was profoundly deaf now we proceed evelyn glenny's loss of hearing had been gradual now what does that mean she was not born deaf her loss of hearing had been gradual it was a gradual process her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the 8 year old evelyn was waiting to play the piano 
they called her name and she didn't move i suddenly realized she hadn't heard says isabel glenny isabel glenny is evelyn glenny's mother and she remembers how she didn't move because she didn't listen she didn't hear them calling her when she was 8 year old that is how she realized that there was some problem with her daughter for quite a while evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers conceal means hide so for quite a while she managed to conceal she hid this fact from there from her friends and teachers but by the time she was 11 her marks had deteriorated and her headmistress urged her parents to take her to a specialist so by the time she was 11 years old her it, it started affecting her marks deteriorated means worsened it started affecting her marks and the headmistress forced her parents to take her to a specialist it was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage students please underline that line that as a result of gradual nerve damage so that was the reason for her hearing loss here it uh, said that when she was taken to the specialist it was discovered that her hearing was severely impaired severely means greatly impaired weakened and that was a result of gradual nerve damage they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for the deaf everything suddenly looked black says evelyn so to evelyn everything seemed dull the few her future looked very dull she was advised to be uh, sent to a school for the deaf and to be provided with hearing aids but evelyn was not going to give up she was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music this is what we should keep in mind for any one of that age at that age anyone else would have given up a person who wants to be a musician realizes that she is she cannot she won't be able to hear anything but here anyone would have been disappointed but here she was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music she didn't drop the idea she decided to follow it her uh, interest in music one day she noticed the girl playing a xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too most of the teachers discouraged her but percussionist ron forbes spotted her potential percussionist is a person who plays the drum tabla etc so while other teachers most of the other teachers discouraged her the percussionist ron forbes again underline that name very important in her life he spotted spotted means noticed her potential talent he began by tuning two large drums to different notes different notes means different notes of music don't listen through your ears he would say try to sense it some other way says evelyn suddenly i realized i could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down forbes repeated the exercise and soon evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body i had learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibrations the rest was sheer determination and hard work so you can very easily say it that it was ron forbes who inspired her to continue her interest in music he showed her the way he gave the hint what is to be done don't listen through your ears try to sense it some other way and she took the hint and rest is sheer determination and hard work she didn't leave it the okay i can sense it through through uh, some part of my body she worked hard and became successful she never looked back from that point onwards what do you mean by that she was successful she never she was she was never disappointed regarding that aspect in her life later she toured the united kingdom with a youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 she had decided to make music her life
she auditioned for the royal academy of music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy now audition nowadays you know reality shows you know you are very familiar with the um, word audition G- gave a short performance so that the director could decide whether she was good enough so she was auditioned for that and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy she gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performances orchestra you know is a group of musicians especially uh, instrument so from that she moved to solo performance a solo performance means one person performing on stage at the end of her three year course she had captured most of the top awards and for all this Evelyn won't accept any hint of heroic achievement. If you work hard and know where you are going, you will get there. And she got right to the top, the world's most sought-after multi-percussionist with a mastery of some thousand instruments and hectic international schedule. So, for all her achievement, she was not ready to accept that it was something heroic. Her philosophy was, if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there if a person works hard and is definite about his or her aim then that person will get there the so one point we have to keep in mind is that we should be sure of our aim know where you are going we should not lead an aimless life we should have a definite aim and we have to work towards that then we will reach there and she got right to the top so this shows that she practiced what she preached she got right to the top following this principle and the world she became the world's most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousand instruments and hectic international schedule now uh, she uh, she became a multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousand instruments not one or two mastery means not and it is not that she is just able to play that she became an expert in some thousand instruments and she follows a hectic international schedule hectic means very busy life it is intriguing to watch evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing in our two hour discussion she never missed a word so the narrator says that intriguing means fascinating it is very fascinating to watch evelyn function so effortless and maybe nobody will understand that she doesn't uh, hear she doesn't listen she cannot hear in our two hour discussion she never missed a word men with bushy beards give me trouble she laughed so only problem she finds with when she uh, converses with men with bushy beards it is not just watching the lips it's the whole face especially the eyes she speaks flawlessly with a scottish lilt scottish lilt means a way of speaking so she is flawlessly means without a fault or mistake you can't find any mistake in her speech my speech is clear because i could hear till i was 11 so i was not uh, deaf when i was born so i could hear till i was 11 so that is the reason why my speech is clear this is her explanation but that doesn't explain how she managed to learn french and master basic japanese later in her life she managed to learn french and master basic japanese so how did she do that this doesn't explain that again that shows the her determination and hard work as for music she explains it pours in through every part of my body it tingles in the skin my cheekbones and even in my hair so she spends her whole life with music she says she says that it pours in through every part of my body it tingles in the skin my cheekbones and even in my hair when she plays the xylophone she can send the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips by leaning against the drums she can feel the resonances flowing into her body resonances means echoes of sounds on a wooden platform she removes her shoes so that the vibrations pass through her bare feet and up her legs so she explains how she manages to listen to all this when she plays xylophone she senses it sound passing of the stick into her fingertips then again when she plays a drum she can feel the resonances flowing into her body 
and when she performs on a wooden platform she removes her shoes so that the vibration pass through her bare feet up her legs not surprisingly evelyn delights her audiences in 1991 she was presented with the royal philharmonic society's prestigious soloist of the year award says master percussionist james blades god may have taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary what we hear she feels far more deeply than any of us that is why she expresses music so beautifully so nothing to be explained it's very clear that god has taken away her hearing capacity to hear but has given her back something extraordinary she feels more deeply than any of us what we what she hears that is why she expresses music so beautifully evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic workaholic is a person who finds it difficult to stop working and just got to work often harder than classical musicians but the rewards are enormous enormous means huge apart from the regular concerts evelyn also gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals she also gives high priority to classes for young musicians priority means important great importance and richland of the beethoven fund for deaf children says she is a shining inspiration for deaf children they see that there is no way that they cannot go now beethoven was a german composer and pianist who was deaf so he is considered to be one of the best western musicians so and richland of the beethoven fund for deaf children says she is a shining inspiration for deaf children they see that there is no word that they cannot go when they see a deaf person doing it so wonderfully in front of them they are inspired evelyn glenny has already accomplished more than most people twice her age she has already accomplished means achieved more than what most people twice her age has done she has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving she has given inspiration to those who are handicapped people who look to her and say if she can do it i can and not the least she has given enormous pleasure to millions hope you understood the lesson thank you